Hi, I'm Mark Weitzman, and I want to continue with some problems from the uh, exercises for the Feynman Lectures in Physics. Um, this is uh, problem 233. Over here is the relevant diagram, and I'll read it to you. Smooth identical logs are piled in a stake truck. That's old terminology, but the truck is forced off the highway and comes to rest on an even keel lengthwise, but with the bed at an angle theta with the horizontal as shown in figure 231. As the truck is unloaded, the removal of the logs shown dotted leaves the remaining three in a condition where they are just ready to slide. That is, if theta were any smaller, the logs would fall down. Find theta. Okay. So in doing this problem, the first key word was smooth. No friction. first read this problem I didn't believe it because it said logs and I said how can logs be smooth and have no friction but that's what it says okay now if you take away this log it's not obvious when this thing is going to begin sliding or tumbling or anything and if you try and do these by forces which you can you get into some hairy trigonometry so I'm going to do this problem in a way this is also solved on the Feynman lectures on physics website solved I think there are three solutions mine sort of follows the third one but I think mine's even easier so what I'm gonna do is the way to solve this is sliding will begin when the potential energy of the logs goes down so what you can imagine is one of two things could happen this thing could try and roll over this but that won't happen until this is like negative so you don't have to worry about that but this thing will slide this is not here this thing will slide at a certain point a certain angle theta you want to find that angle theta um, so the way I thought about this as I said all I have to do is this this log A is not going to move the potential energy of this log is just mg times this height and, it's, and the potential energy of log C is mg times that height. All I have to figure out is when this potential energy starts to go down. That's when, that will give me the critical angle theta. Now, um, but it can get like a little pain in trigonometry. So I just said to myself, you know what? Let me look in a rotated frame. So this is the rotated frame here is x prime and y prime. Now here I have it just looking at that. Because here I can sort of analyze the situation differently. The logs have radius r. This, when, when they just start to slide, there's a separation u between them. And this is the height h. And so we have to just calculate what happens to this. This one doesn't go down. And then we can transform back to these coordinates and find the actual heights. But at least I know what happens is this starts to move. This goes down a little bit. Let me figure it out what it is. So we can start by writing a little um, using our triangles. 2r squared equals h squared plus r plus u squared. This is simply this triangle over here has when they're um, 2r, r plus u squared, this side over here, plus h squared is this side, 2r squared. Now, let's just take a differential of this. 2r is constant, so we get 0 equal 2h dh plus 2r plus u du. Okay. And we want to find out when the sliding first begins. When the sliding first begins, u is 0. So we want to evaluate everything at u equals 0. So first of all, h at u equals 0 is just equal to, we plug in this equation, square root of 2r squared minus r squared equals the square root of 3r. Okay, that's h. And also, from this equation, if we put in the value of u equals 0, we get a relationship. 0 is equal to 2 times the square root of 3 times r times dh plus 2r 
du. And this implies that dh equals minus du over the square root of 3. That's our relationship. Now, let's start doing some analytic geometry. The uh, coordinates of B, x prime comma y prime B, is just equal to, okay, this is B, this is C, this is A. This is going to be R plus R is 2R. The x prime coordinate will be 2R, I'm sorry, 2R plus U. R and R, and then add U. And the vertical coordinate is just R, and this H represents this side, so it's just R plus H. And x prime, y prime of C is equal to 3R plus 2U. Okay, so C is here, so we have R and R and then the 2U, 3R plus 2U, and its Y prime coordinate is fixed at R. Okay, now we use the usual coordinate transformation for rotation. I'm sorry, X, except we're going backwards this time. X equal X prime cosine theta minus Y prime sine theta. And y is equal to x prime sine theta plus y prime cosine theta. Okay, now we really don't care about what x is, we just want the heights y. So using plugging these coordinates into these formulas, I'm going to get the height of y b is equal to sine theta times 2r plus u plus cosine theta times r plus h. And yc is equal to sine theta times 3r plus u plus cosine theta times r. Okay. Doesn't seem like I did that right. Let me see. Y be x prime is 2r plus u times sine theta plus r plus h times that's right. Then I have 3r plus u times sine theta plus y prime. Okay, that's good. Now, the, the sum of the heights, this is what needs to go down, yb plus yc is equal to sine theta times 5r plus 2u plus 2. Hmm. I knew there was a mistake here. 3r plus 2u. So that would be 5r plus 3u. Plus cosine theta times 2r plus h. Okay, now let's just find out what the differential is of this height. Okay. Remember, theta is fixed for a given situation, so we're not going to take, it's only r and h which are changing. So this is equal to 3 sine theta du that comes from this term, this is constant, plus cosine theta times dh. Now, this is equal to 3 sine theta du. And we use this formula over here, dh is minus du over the square root of 3. So we get plus cosine theta times minus du over the square root of 3. And this has got to be less than 0. That leads to, put this on the other side, 
The DU's canceled, they're both positive. Put this on the other side and divide by cosine theta, move the three over and we get our answer. Tan theta is less than one over three square root of three. And uh, if you actually calculate this, you'll get theta is approximately 10.89 degrees. Okay, so I invite you to go to the uh, website for this problem and look at the other solutions and uh, decide whether mine's easier than theirs or not. Thank you very much. I'll see you for the next video.